Everyone, thank you. Before, <laughs> before uh, relinquishing uh, the chair for the uh, administration of the oath uh, to our new lieutenant governor, uh, to whom I offer the, the greatest congratulations, a former colleague in the, uh, in the General, General Assembly and somebody who's devoted her life to uh, public service. Uh, I want to also acknowledge the, the presence of uh, two other beloved former senators, Senator Ed Meyer, former senator uh, from the, the 12th District. So, Senator Ed Gomes, his retirement took effect today. <laughs> it is now my, my great pleasure to relinquish the, the podium uh, for the administration of the oath uh, to our new Lieutenant Governor. solemnly swear that you will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the state of Connecticut so long as you continue a citizen thereof and that you will faithfully discharge according to law the duties of the office of Lieutenant Governor to the best of your abilities so help you God. I do. <laughs> to thank my family, that was my husband David, and my children, Ava, Lena, and Tristan, uh, without whose love and support, I would not be here today. Uh, I love you all, thank you so much. I also want to acknowledge uh, my sister Gail, and my cousins Christine, Ted, Amy, Kate, and Phyllis, you're in there, they are. They are representing the large and extended Bisowitz family. Uh, love you all. <laughs> to my predecessor in this office, Lieutenant Governor Nancy Wyman. Uh, Nancy, thank you for your long and exemplary public service to our beautiful state your work on health care as well as your care and concern for the veterans uh, and welfare of our military uh, really is an inspiration uh, to everyone in our state. Nancy, I wish you well with your new chapter. I want to thank the people of Connecticut for entrusting this important job to me and the governor-elect. I promise that we will get up every day and work hard to move our beautiful state forward. And I want to take this opportunity to thank the more than 200,000 people in our state who have served in our United States military, protecting our fundamental freedoms, especially our right to vote, to hold elections, and to govern as we do today. I want to thank Governor-elect Ned Lamont. It's an honor to be your partner in government. We have a lot of work to do, and I am so excited about the possibility of all that we can accomplish together for our state. To the President Pro Tem, uh, Senator Looney, congratulations on your election to once again lead this very distinguished chamber. And I also want to acknowledge Senator Fasano for once again being chosen to lead your caucus.
To the new and returning members of the Senate Circle, congratulations to each of you. You have chosen public service, so please never forget the weight of the responsibility entrusted to you by your constituents. The governor-elect and I look forward to working with all of you. We are committed to reaching across the aisle, to bringing everyone together, and treating every single person with fairness, decency, and the respect that they deserve. The road that I've traveled to get here today has been quite a journey indeed. Uh, it all started on a potato farm in Middletown, where I was taught by example to always fight for what's right by my dad, who is a World War II veteran, and by my mom, the child of immigrants, who is also a lawyer, to stand up for people in need. And I have taken that fighting spirit to everything that I've done, whether it's serving as Secretary of the State, as a legislator, as a business lawyer, and a job creator. The road ahead might be tough, but we can and we will confront the important issues and challenges uh, facing our state. We will help small businesses grow, thrive, and create good paying jobs. We will ensure equal pay for equal work and fight for paid family and medical leave. We will make a balanced state budget that's fair to everyone and we will safeguard access to affordable health care. We will fight for equality and stand up against attacks on our rights and our freedoms. And we will always fight for our families of Connecticut. The governor-elect and I believe in our state and we believe in Connecticut's future. As Ella Grasso said, it's not enough to profess faith in the democratic process we must do something about it. And as Jody Rell said, the goal of government is simple, safety and security. The work, ladies and gentlemen, begins today, and we must do that work together. Thank you.